Did I even hit it? Okay, testing on the tire. Uh, for the most part, I mean, this is full metal jacket. Uh, I think it's 115 grain standard stuff. You can see the punctures where it went through the first uh, area of the tire. There's actually one there that went through the side here. Anyway, uh, and for the most part it was full penetration. Um, it's a 9mm, uh, this is a barrel we've been testing on, 9mm uh, Smith & Wesson SD9 that was in that other video. But it did stop one bullet. It was like wound up it's kind of rolling around in there. Uh, this looks like, I guess one went low and came out here. Anyway, so it's pretty much going right through. So my idea, you know, rubber's not going to stop it by itself. It's going to slow down the velocity of some shots. It's going to stop one out of, I think, a shot ten times total. And then half the time it was going on through and knocking tree limbs down and shooting into the ground, as you can see uh, there. Stuff like that, so. It definitely needs some tweaking or that's not going to work. We'll get back to you about that. After closer inspection, I discovered that there was actually a second bullet that the tire stopped. I found this kind of... Uh, it was on the rim. So I'm not sure exactly where either of these bullets went through. I, don't, I need to do some more testing about trajectory and angle of impact, all that sort of thing. See why it's some of them are stopping and some of them aren't. See if there's any sort of pattern there. Um, but, you know, two or three layers of tire rubber because of that metal mesh that's in basic radial tires. That with a little added support from maybe a, some metal sheeting, I think it would make a pretty good bullet stop. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll test it some more as I go because this is, um, one, you know, a 10 bullets, I would say, definitely hit the tire. Uh, so, you know, two out of ten, one-fifth of the bullets were stopped by the tire. And that's just one layer. Well, I guess what it did was it, it bounced off the inner layer. So, something like that. So, it just needs some more testing, but my hypothesis is feasible. So, we'll test this out and get back to you. Peace out, guys. This has been Mr. Wolfie. Love you guys.